My name is Clint. I am doing a DPhil at the University of Oxford, and I'm also the host of a survival archaeology TV show called 10,000 BC. At the University of Oxford, I study how early humans may have trapped animals to survive. And so what I'm going to do right now is make what's called a fish trap, and we're using all of the tools that would have been available to a Stone Age group. So what I've got here is a lot of willow limbs, and I use willow because they're very bendable and they don't snap. And then I've got a piece of flint that I'm going to use as a chopper to prepare my tools. So the first thing I have to do is strip the willow and then cut the end so I can stick it in the ground. So I've cut the woody bit off and now I'm going to sharpen the tip of this so it's a little pointy so I can make it stick in the ground so I don't have to hold it. What I'm doing is I'm actually making what will look like a basket and the purpose of the basket is to put bait in and you put it in the water and the fish will get attracted to the bait, they'll swim into the basket and the way I'm going to make the lid uh, means that the fish will be able to come in but they won't be able to find their way out. And this sort of fishing technology is one that we've seen a lot with modern hunter-gatherer groups and we think probably Stone Age groups were using something similar. So the first thing I do when I make a basket like this, uh, you need to put in five poles, uh, and you need five or seven, but you need an odd number because what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave this little thin piece all the way through. And if you use an even number, it'll always come back on the same side. So you need to use an odd number so every wrap you do uh, goes on a different side of one of these poles. And so all I'm doing is picking the thinnest most flexible pieces to weave in and out of these vertical poles. At this stage, we can use it just as a basket, or maybe put straps on it and wear it like a backpack, or we can make a funnel for this that goes in, and the fish will come in to get the bait, and then they won't be able to get out. And we just put the funnel in, uh, put some rotten meat inside this, and throw it in the water, and come back the next day, and hopefully it'd be full of uh, fish. <laughs> 